so next step is design of toe slab okay so for that uh, first we will go to the uh, table column after that we will come to the previous steps okay so design of toe slab so here also we are cutting calculating the <coughs> pressure okay so in toe side the upward pressure will be more when compared to the self weight of the toe slab and the weight of soil the upward pressure will be more okay so we are kind of uh, are adding the upward pressure and we are subtracting the self weight of the toe slab and weight okay in previous case also in previous design cantilever design also uh, we did like this only okay so upward pressure c d i f okay so that is in the in diagram okay c d c d i f okay first we are considering this rectangular portion and then we will consider this triangular portion okay so 126.6 into 1 okay so the pressure is 126.6 only at this side okay at a uh, point f or at point i the pressure is 126.6 okay point e the pressure is 150 okay so we are considering the rectangle portion only so the rectangle is c d i f only okay the pressure is 126.6 and width of the toe slab is one meter one meter so 126.6 into one okay 126.6 into one and we are getting the magnitude of load as 126.6 okay so distance from point c okay that is a, a junction point of a toe slab and stem only okay so one divided by two with a slab, uh, slab uh, toe slab is one meter okay so the uh, load is acting at the center of the toe slab 126.5 okay so we are calculating the moment uh, uh, at point c only so uh center of gravity the distance between center of gravity of the the load where where the uh, acting and the point c is 0.5 one divided by two is 0.5 meter okay so moment is 126.6 into 0.5 we are getting the moment about point c is 63.3 kilo newton meter okay they all understand or not okay so we are converting the pressure into load okay so pressure is 126.6 okay acting through the width of the slab and we are converting uh, that as a load so 126.6 into 1 okay so 126.6 kilo newton so that load will act at the center of gravity portion only okay so we'll act at the center of the toe slab okay now we are ca calculating movement at point c so uh, load into distance okay so 1 divided by 2 that is 0.5 meter so 126.6 into 0.5 okay so that is 63.3 kilo newton meter so after that we are having a triangular portion also okay so we have to consider for that also so area of triangle is off the edge so 1 by 2 that is 0.5 0.5 into 1 into okay uh, the height of the that portion is one meter only okay the width of toe slab is one meter so we are considering that as height okay so uh, off into one into 23.4 okay so 23.4 is nothing but the remaining pressure okay so uh, the pressure at point e is 150 pressure at i is 126.6 so the remaining pressure that is in between i and e okay so 150 minus 126.6 gives the remaining pressure in between i and e okay so that is 26 point sorry 23.4 okay so 0 0.5 into 1 into 23.4 so we are getting the magnitude of load is 11.7 okay so this load will act at the center of gravity of the triangular portion okay so this is the triangle that 11.7 uh, kilo newton lacked at the center of gravity okay so for uh, center of gravity the triangle for a triangle is h by 3 from the base and from the apex is 2 h by 3 okay here the height is with the base left so 1 meter so 2 into 1 by 3 we are calculating moment at this point only so 2 h by 3 only we have to consider okay so 11.7 okay the total load uh, into 
two x by three, two into one by three. Okay, so we are getting a point six on a point six on is the center of gravity of the triangle from point C or from uh, point apex. Okay, so therefore movement about point C is eleven point seven into point six seven. That gives seven point eight four kilonewton meter. Okay, so total upward pressure is movement uh, due to upward pressure is sixty three point three plus seven point eight four. So we are getting a total of movement uh, due to upward pressure is seventy one point one four kilonewton meter. Okay, so in toe slab the movement due to upward pressure will be maximum. And movement due to self weight of the toe slab and the uh, soil and all will be minimum. So we are sub uh, subtracting that. Okay. So next we are calculating the self weight of the toe slab. Okay. So slow toe slab is in a rectangular portion only. The width of slab is one meter. So one into width of base slab. Width of toe slab is point four five meter into unit weight of concrete twenty four. Okay. So uh, this uh, gives ten point eight kilo newton. Okay, so center of gravity is 0.5. So one divided by 2.5. So 10.8 into 0.5. So movement is 5.40 kilonewton meter. Similarly, soil is also acting for the remaining portion. Okay, you can see this diagram. Sorry. In this diagram, you can see the soil is also acting for this height. Okay, so 1.2 meters the minimum depth of the foundation. The toe slab thickness is 450 mm, that is 0.45. Okay, so 1.2 minus 0.45 meter gives the remaining height. Okay, for that height only, the soil is acting on the toe portion. Okay, so we have to consider that height also 1.2 minus 0.45. So that is 0.75. Okay, so 0.75 into width of toe slab is 1 into 16. 16 is the density of the soil. Okay, for toe slab, you have to consider density of concrete because it is a concrete only. For soil, the density of soil is into 16. Okay, so therefore, the magnitude of load is 12, 12 kilonewton. Uh, center of gravity distance is 0.5 only because the soil is also. Horizontal only, uh, rectangular portion only. So uh, for one meter uh, width, so one divided by two point five. So twelve into point five six. Okay. So total uh, movement due to self weight is five point four divided by six. That is eleven point four kilonewton meter. Okay. So we have to subtract this. Okay. Seventy one point one four minus eleven point four zero. Okay. So now we are going to the previous slide. Okay. Design of toast lab. Okay, so already we saw that calculation in the table column. So we are now we are working. Okay, so maximum working moment in toe slab. Okay, that is 71.4. 71.4 14 is the moment uh, total moment due to upward pressure minus 11.4. 11.4 is the total moment due to uh, self weight of the toe slab and soil. Okay, and uh, we are subtracting this and we are getting 59.74 kilonewton meter. Okay, so 59.74 kilonewton meter is the total working moment, maximum working moment in the toe slab. Okay, so therefore factored moment is MU is equal to 1.5 into 59.74 that gives 89.61 kilonewton meter. Okay, so we are choosing uh, here also the effective depth of toe slab as 450 mm. Okay, thickness of toe slab is 450 mm. So, effective depth we are choosing as 400. That means 50 mm is the cover. So, we are calculating the area of reinforcement AST. Okay, by using the formula M is equal to 0.8 and FI AST D into 1 minus. ASTFI divided by BDFCK. So by using that formula, we are calculating AST. We know the all the values MU, FI, BDFCK and all. Okay. So we are substituting in that formula and we are calculating the AST as 644 mm square. Okay. So now we are going for the reinforcement. So we are providing 12 mm dia bar at 150 mm center to center. So for this case, the AST is 754 mm square. So, which is more than 754, which is more than 644. Okay. So, hence it is okay. 
and distribution reinforcement is 0.12 percentage of uh, BD. So 0.12 percentage is nothing but 0.0012 into BD. So for a uh, uh, one meter width only we are calculating. So 1000 into 450, we are getting 540 mm square. Okay. So we are providing 10 mm dia bars at 280 mm center to center on both faces. And we are getting AST as 561 mm square, which is more than 540. Hence it is okay. So after designing the toe portion, so next we are designing the yield slab. Okay. So for yield slab, we are considering one meter strip only. Okay. For can we are considering one meter wide yield portion only near yield end A. Okay. At the point uh, at the end of A. Okay. From end A, we are considering one meter strip. Okay. Uh, we are calculating upward soil pressure. Uh, we know that upward pressure as a 45 kilo. Already we calculated. Okay, at point A, we know that uh, pressure is 45 kN per meter square. At point A, point H, okay, 45 kN per meter square is the upward pressure at yield portion. Okay, so therefore, weight of soil on strip is equal to 16, okay, uh, 16 of soil. Okay, 16 is the density of soil, 16 into 6.75 meter, that is the height, okay, for this height only, the soil is also acting, okay, so 16 into 6.75, so we are getting 108 kilonewton per meter square, so therefore, self-weight of a strip, next self-weight of strip, okay, so for 1 meter width only, we are considering, so 1, actual width of a yield slab is 3.28 meter, but here we are considering 1 meter width only, so 1 into 0 0.45, 0 0.45, that is the thickness of the yield slab into unit weight of concrete, 24. So into 24, now we are getting a 10.8 kN per meter square. So weight of soil acting on the yield slab is 108 kN per meter square. Okay, we didn't consider the width and all. Okay, with this one meter, 108 into one, we'll get 108 only. Okay. Uh, then uh, we are considering the self weight of a yield slab. Okay, here they're mentioning the name as a strip. Okay, strip is nothing but a yield slab in here. Okay, so self weight of yield slab. Okay, that is for one meter. For one meter only, we are calculating. For one meter, self weight is 10.8 kilonewton per meter square. So, therefore, total, we are adding these two weights. Total is 118.8 kilonewton per meter square. Okay, so and we are subtracting the upward pressure. In previous case, toast in toast lab case, upward pressure will be more. Okay, so we are, we are adding upward pressure and we are subtracting the downward pressure. That is a uh, self weight. Okay, but here the downward the self weight will be more compared to the upward pressure. So upward pressure we know at point K we are, we are having the upward pressure is forty five kilonewton per meter square. Already we calculated this. Okay, 45 kilonewton per meter square. So we are separating that. So 118.8 kilonewton per meter square. That is total downward pressure minus 45. So we are getting the net downward pressure as 73.8 kilonewton per meter square. Okay, so we know the spacing of counterforce. In question itself, they gave the spacing of counterforce as 3 meter. Okay, center to uh, center distance. Okay, in this diagram, you can see. Okay, so this is the counterfoot. Okay, so this is the uh, stem portion. Okay, so in the, this is a top view plan, sectional plan at the base of counterfoot. So, okay, so this is the stem portion, and this one is the counterfoot. Okay, the center to center distance of counterfoot only three meter. Okay. <coughs> So spacing of counterforce is three meter. So therefore, maximum negative surface bending moment at counterforce is seventy-three point eight into three square. Okay, same uh, fixed end moment formula only we are using WL square by twelve. So seventy-three point eight into three square divided by twelve. So we are getting the maximum negative surface bending moment at counterforce is fifty-five point three five kilonewton meter. Okay, so this is the service bending moment okay because of the uh, uh, load acting uh, load from the soil and uh, self weight of uh, eel and all okay from that 
this bending moment is creating. Okay, 55.35 kilonewton meter. Okay, so factor the moment M U is 1.5 into 55.35. So that is 383 kilonewton meter. So after calculating this, next we are calculating for a reinforcement. Okay, by using a reinforcement formula, that is M U is equal to 0.8 sine of phi AST into D into 1 minus ASTFY divided by BDFCK. By using that formula, we are calculating a area of steel reinforcement. Okay, we know all the value uh, MU, FY and all, BDCK and all. Okay, so we are getting AST as 600 mm square. Okay, here the for yield portion, we are using the effective depth as 400. Okay, so we are getting AST as 600 mm square. And we are providing 12 mm dia bus at 150 mm center to center. So for this case, the AST is 754 mm square, which is more than 600, hence it is working. After calculating main reinforcement, next we are calculating distribution reinforcement. Uh, that is 0.12 percentage of cross section, that is BD. So 0.0012 into 1000 into 450. Okay, so we are getting a 540 mm square. Okay, for distribution reinforcement, we are using a, a depth, depth as 450. So for this case, provide 10 mm dia bus at 280 mm center to center on both face. So AST is 561 mm square, which is more than 540. Hence, it is okay. Do you have any doubts in this so far?